Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome to the first video of the new year. Today, I kind of wanted just to hang out with you guys, catch up with you guys a little bit. I wanted to try out some hair care and makeup that I've gotten in PR. This is more of a laid back, let's play with makeup and chill kind of video. I do have a lot of reviews for new makeup coming after this video, but I just wanted to hang out with you guys. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Thank you so much for 75,000 subscribers. I just wanted to say that. Like and subscribe. For all those that have done it, thank you so much. Thank you for 75,000 subscribers. Okay, okay, let's get into it. I, um, I don't even know what I'm gonna call this video. I'm not gonna lie. Like I said in the intro, I kind of just wanted to hang out with you guys because I do have, I bought a bunch of new Wet n Wild, the new e.l.f. collection. I also, like, I have a couple of videos coming with a lot of new products. As of right now, I don't have those products yet. And I have some things from PR, so I figured why don't we just, like, hang out, let's chill, and just, like, try out some hair stuff as well as some makeup. By the way, it is 8.30 in the morning. <laughs> I have a doctor's appointment later, but I wanted to film for you guys. So let's just get started. I actually have two hair products that I wanted to show you guys today. One I already know that I love and the other one I figured let's try it together. So I did want to try this on camera. So this is the Big Sexy Hair Powder Play Volumizing and Texturizing Powder. So this product is like really hyped up and I've seen it a lot on uh, TikTok. I did do like very sleek straight hair and believe it or not, I still like a little bit of volume up here so that I don't look like a freaking egghead. It just says to like shake on your roots and then like push it up okay and now let's shake it oh oh my god it's creating so much texture it's definitely giving me volume and a lot of texture um can you guys tell the difference between this side and this side I will say though, it feels a little bit sticky. If you have very, very fine hair, I feel like you would love this. Hmm, I see a little bit of a difference. I obviously feel like this would work maybe better if I had curly hair, uh, because with straight hair, like I still want it to look sleek. Okay, so it definitely works. Yes, it definitely works. I'm gonna keep using this, but I definitely feel like this would work out with a really nice like blowout look to have like va va voom volume. Um, I, I do like it though. I will keep you guys posted. I did get this in PR by Big Sexy Hair. Okay, so see, like, if I wasn't trying to do this sleek look, if I just gave myself a lot of volume, like, look how much volume it's giving me. Okay, I actually really do like this. I understand the hype because it's just a little bit of powder. Um, I really do like it. By the way, you can purchase this at sexyhair.com. So the next product I just wanted to show you guys because I have been loving it. So this is the Color Wow Extra Mystical Shine Spray. So Color Wow did gift this to me and I really like it because it's a shine spray but it doesn't make your hair like super greasy or weigh it down. I like to put it from around here down to the ends and then I like to kind of comb it out and it is so lightweight it adds so much shine I've been getting a lot of compliments like in person of like how healthy my hair looks I have been trying to get my hair to actually be healthier but sometimes you just need a couple little tricks and, and it's not sticky or anything it actually feels really really nice and not like greasy and I've been loving this because I do love the look of like very shiny hair but with my hair it, it can look greasy if I don't use this product. Like if I'm using other products, it can get kind of greasy. I've just been really, really loving it. Um, I've been trying out a lot of hair products lately. I've just been obsessed with hair lately. And so I wanted to show you guys this one and then try this one in camera. So we're looking pretty good. Now we gotta beat the face, so thank you to Color Wow for gifting this to me. I really appreciate it. I will link both of these products down below. Okay, let's put this hair back 
and get started. I don't have like a full face of PR. I also just wanted to like play around with some makeup that I recently bought or I've recently been loving. So let's quickly get through the eyebrows. Uh, nothing's changed. I'm just going to use tinted brow gel and I've been loving the Benefit Brow Styler. I know this isn't like new, but this is just like a really easy way to fill in your brows. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I guess I will zoom you guys in. Uh, I have a lot of stray brow hairs, so don't judge. And then these nails, these nails are going today, okay? Uh, these are glue-on. I've had them on since December 12. This is how long I've had them. So don't judge either, okay, guys? Let's zoom it in. Literally, look at both of my gimme brows. Um, today we're going to use the shade 4. And you guys know how it goes. I like to put tinted brow gel on my brows, let it dry, and then go back in with a pencil and then a powder. So again, this is the Benefit Cosmetics Gimme Brow in the shade 4. Okay, so I went ahead and put some concealer and setting powders on the eyes to kind of just prep them. I do have a couple eyeshadow palettes. I don't know which ones to use, but I will show you guys so you know what I have to work with. This right here is the Pop Beauty Light Show Palette in the shade Fire Fit. I also have the new Koki Cosmetics Pro Collection. <sighs> I used this once and uh, I liked it, but I kind of wanted to try it again. This is what it looks like. It gives me those Sephora like pro palette vibes. They do have another one, um, but I put it in a giveaway because this is the one that I like liked the most. That's usually what I do with my PR. I don't really keep everything. I just grab my favorites and then put the rest out for you guys. And then the Deck of Scarlet Edition 20. Uh, we might use this blush. This is the palette they came out with, I believe, last month. So we might use the blush in this. I am going to the doctor after this, so we're not going to do false lashes because, you know, that will be pushing it. I don't know. I think I'm going to go ahead and use a Koki one. Let's just see what we can do with the Koki. I kind of want to do a matte look again. I wore a matte look in my mess makeup of 2020, and so many of you guys asked for a tutorial, and I kind of imitated it in my New Year's Eve holiday makeup look and uh, I wanted to do it with some warm tones so let's just let's just see what we can do and then I'll use a shimmer as an inner corner highlight let's try it out Alrighty, so this is what we have so far. I have been obsessed with these kinds of looks. So far, I really do like this palette. Even though I only use the mattes, I have used some of the shimmers and like, I'll give you guys some swatches. Look how beautiful is a swatch of that beautiful, beautiful gold shade. I do like this palette. I think it's very easy to work with. It's very soft, but there's not that much kickback. and. It is soft in the sense that they're very easy to blend, but you do need to build them up a little bit. I did build up this brown shade a little bit, but as you can see, it builds up really nicely, and it does come with a mirror, and it's like really nice and sleek. I do have a coupon code for Kogi Cosmetics. It's, uh, I believe it's VS for 25% off their website. So if you guys are interested, they also have a white one with different shades. This was just my favorite. We will finish off this look once we're done with the rest of the makeup. I do wanna try out their liner. I'm not sure if it's new or not. They did just send it to me, but it's called the Koki Cosmetics Retractable Liquid Eyeliner in Waterproof, and I have the shade Carbon Black. This is very interesting because they call it the Retractable Liquid Liner, so it literally looks so tiny, and then you like open it up, and then 
take off the lid like what it is a felt tip but oh my god it looks really really dark so i'm gonna do a wing liner and then we'll see how easy it applies and how it dries All right, we are back, and you know what, guys? I do love a lot of Koki Cosmetics. I didn't love this. I don't love felt tips, first of all, and uh, this felt tip is very, very thin, and so you would think it would like be really cool because it's very intricate, but it actually made it really hard to create like very sharp lines because it is felt, so it kind of like grabs onto your skin while you're doing it, so it's kind of hard to get like a very smooth glide. And it's not a matte finish, it's definitely a satin finish. And so it's just not my favorite. I do love a lot of Koki Cosmetics. This is not a bad product, it's just the applicator is not my favorite and the formula is not my favorite. It's not bad, it's just not my favorite. I always use the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof. Uh, I wanted to show you guys another one that I like. It's also from Koki Cosmetics. This is just called their um, Velvet Smooth Eyeliner Waterproof. I have the deepest black, and I'm just gonna go ahead and line my waterline. Gosh, ever since I started doing this, I just can't not do it. For mascara, I'm gonna be using um, the Lancome. There is no name on this, but it is the one that it literally has a button and it vibrates, and it kind of looks like the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. It's probably the same thing. I've just been loving this, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple coats on my lashes. Okay, so look at these lashes. By the way, I do use the Grande Lash Serum. I do have a link in every video, but um, I did buy the e.l.f. serum, so I'm gonna see how that works, but um, I love this mascara, and I love my eyelash serum. So, let's see, for primer, uh, mm, 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 I don't know what to prime with. Let's just go ahead and use what I used in my last video, the Milani No Pore Zone. By the way, I'm such an idiot. It's the new look, same great formula. It's the same pore minimizing primer from Milani. They just changed the packaging. And I will say it kind of confused me because they came out with a bunch of new ones. So I thought this was a new pore minimizing primer and it turns out it's the same one. Um, but I do really like it. You only need a little bit because it does spread out pretty good. And I like it because it'll smooth out your face, cover your pores, but it's not drying. Like it will mattify, but it's not drying. Um, and I really like it, so I'm just gonna put this everywhere. And I don't have any PR products with foundation, concealer, and all that, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my CC cream from e.l.f. This is the Camo CC cream. I do have the shade 330W. It's medium 330W. I really, really love it. In my videos, I noticed that when I do put it on, it goes on kind of yellow. I know that, but I don't know what it is, but when I finish my makeup, it looks perfect. Right now, I'm only using one pump. If you want full coverage, use about a pump and a half or two. Guys, when I tell you I literally haven't worn anything else other than this since I reviewed it, like, I mean it. I wanted to put it in my 2020 favorites, but it was too soon. Like, you can't put a product that you tried, like, twice in a yearly favorites video but it definitely will be in my 2021 favorites video because it is so good it looks beautiful whether you build it up or not it also looks beautiful at the end of the day like for me you know i'll be impressed if a foundation looks good right away yes but if it looks amazing at the end of the night oof that's my favorite like this just doesn't fade it looks beautiful. It doesn't look drying. It doesn't really settle into my smile lines. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I did my makeup and um, I fell asleep at night before I could wash my face. I just fell asleep and I woke up in the middle of the night and I was like, oh my God, I need to go wash my face. It still looked flawless. And I'm talking like I put that makeup on around like 4 p.m. and it was like 4 a.m. and like I still looked amazing. So I mean, what does that say to you? Um, by the way, where's my sponge? Pokey did send me some more of their conceal, cover and conceal sponges. I did get it wet, but um, these are backups. I have like three of them already because I love them. This is a dirty one. This is how much it expands when you do wet it. This is a 
great, great sponge from the drugstore. It is like $5. You can also use my coupon code for 25% off. But this reminds me so much of the Ofra Cosmetics sponge. It is so like soft and squishy. It is even softer than the Beauty Blender and it just looks, it's just nice. It's really nice and it's really affordable and you don't need to spend a lot of money on sponges anymore. So for concealer, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Camo. I still love the hydrating one, but I've just really been into the regular one. This is in the shade Tan Neutral. The reason why I even picked this up is because my mom was asking me to help her find like a high coverage concealer and I never want anybody to spend money. So I was like, oh my God, try the e.l.f. Camo. You know, you don't need to get like a high end one and she got it and she loved it. And then I was like, you know what? Maybe I should get it and I love it. I, I had it before, but I had the wrong shade. It was way too light and the wrong undertone. And so it looked really bad under my eyes. And it just shows you how the wrong shade could make you think that you like don't like a product, but I actually really like it. It's actually not too drying for me. I do have normal to dry skin. I do love the hydrating one, but I just wanted more coverage. Look how much coverage that gave me with the little amount of product. Um, I'm gonna be using the brand new e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer Pens. I did get a contouring shade when I did the review video. This is the shade Deep 53W. Um, it's actually more of a bronzing shade, not really contouring, but I just love creams now to warm up my face. This is a very easy product to use. It's very lightweight. I do have a whole review on these and the putty blushes. I can leave them down below, but um, I like this to cream bronze with because not only does the applicator like really help, but also the actual formula of the product is very, very lightweight. Um, it does give some pigment because obviously it's more of like a brightening concealer, so it's not gonna be giving you like that much coverage. But see, it just adds a little bit of pigment and it looks beautiful. It's very lightweight, like I said, so it doesn't look heavy on the skin. It looks beautiful under the eyes and it's also beautiful as like a bronzer. Okay, let's set this. I'm gonna use the ColourPop powder. I recently did a full face of ColourPop and I've been loving the no filter powder. This is just in the shade Translucent. You can never go wrong with Translucent. I like how fine the powder is and I also love that it has a sifter stopper. Um, I do like to set this camo CC cream because I don't know, it is very creamy, so I do like to just give it like a light dusting, and I notice that that's how it lasts longer on my skin. Before we move on, I wanna finish the eyebrows as well as the eyes. So I'm gonna go back into the brows with the Benefit Brow Styler in the shade 4.5, and I'm just gonna use that pencil to further the fine, and then the back with the powder just to set the ends of my brows. So I went ahead and put on some lower lash mascara, and I do have to say, this Koki Cosmetics palette is really good. Look how beautiful that inner corner looks. So I do really like that. For bronzer, we're gonna keep it old school. We're gonna use the Butter Bronzer. I do have the shade Deep. Let me warm my skin up real quick, and then we can go ahead and use the blush that comes in that Deck of Scarlet palette. By the way, if you're wondering, this brush is from Deck of Scarlet. It came out with the, the spray, the Mistake Proof Bronzers and Blushes, which I love, but this brush I've just been using ever since. So let's go ahead and look at this. Again, this is the Edition 20. I believe this came out in December. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and use this blush. It is more on the peachier side for me. I like pinkier stuff, but let's just try it out. Ooh, it's like very pigmented. These are great, by the way. I I was their um, artist in chief in January of 2020, and uh, I 
did a palette with them and these blushes and eyeshadows and highlights are really nice. I'm just surprised by this blush because it's actually looking really, really beautiful on my skin. Like I said, I tend to go for more pinky tones, but I've been trying to go for more peachy tones lately because I just realized that they look pretty as well. You know, I would use the highlight, but it is like a reddish highlight. So um, I'm not gonna use that. I'm thinking we should go for a more wet look. This is the NYX High Glass um, Highlighter. This one is in the shade 02. It's the medium shade. You guys know how much I love the high glass finishing powder, but today we're gonna be using this. This is one of those like cream to powder finishes that just look wet on the skin. I almost put this in my best makeup of 2020. I actually did put it in, I just cut it out because the video was getting really long and at the end of the day, my favorite highlighter is the Essence Pure Nude, but this is like one of my favorite blinding highlights because even though it does look blinding, it still gives more of a wet look rather than a powdery look and I just love that more. So let's set our face really quickly. Um, I got this from Pop Beauty. This is the Pop Beauty Makeup Magnet Setting Mist. So it says that this mist fixes makeup like a magnet to skin while delivering hydration and nutrients. It's supposed to be depuffing, energizing, and soothing. So, ooh, okay. A little bit of an aggressive spray, but it doesn't look like it's like too much. It's just like, ooh, let's try it out. Ooh, it smells minty. Okay, so, you know, with setting sprays, you can't really know the first time you use something. I will say I do have a couple little, like, bigger spots, and I'm just gonna blend this out. It kind of just, you know, melted all the powders together. It didn't change the uh, look of my foundation. It didn't make it dewy or anything. It does just look a little bit more hydrating, which I love these kinds of sprays because I like the way I do my makeup and sometimes I don't wanna change the actual finish of it. And this just feels like it added um, hydration. So, so far I really do like this. So for lips, I have, um, I have two products that I could try. I have this deck of Scarlet Lip Liquid Lip Suede, which looks stunning. And then I also have a Pop Beauty plumping lip gloss. Um, this is looking really pretty. I'm gonna line my lips with like a brown lip liner and then we can try this out. All right, we're just gonna take them all out. I really want Sweet Tea by Morphe. Wow. I just made a mess. Moving on. Let me take off my Aquaphor. Ooh, I'm a little shook right now. Okay, anyways, this is NYX, uh, again, Sandstorm. <laughs> mm, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of the e.l.f. Retro Paradise lip liner. It's like the second to darkest one in that set. Oh yeah, this is more the vibe I'm going for. So this um, Deck of Scarlet lip Liquid Lip Suede actually came with that palette. So if you're interested in this palette, this came with it as long as other stuff. Um, it's in the shade Cappuccino. I don't really know what a liquid lip suede is. I'm thinking this is gonna be like a velvet liquid lipstick. At first I thought it was a gloss. Ooh, I really like this so far. I'm gonna let that dry and I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so this is the final result. The lip is really nice. It is very moussey. I don't feel it drying down, but it's not like super liquidy to where I feel like it would get everywhere, but it is not drying down, but I don't mind. It almost feels like a matte lipstick, which is nice. It's like creamy, but it's matte. Um, I really like the way everything looked today. By the way, this like hair stuff, you can literally like reactivate it and like get volume again. It's kind of cool. I hope that you like this kind of video. I know it's very laid back and chill. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Um, again, the next video I see you guys with is probably going to be a review for some new makeup. So watch out for that. Happy New Year. Uh, first video of the year. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for another amazing year. And thank you so much for 75,000 subscribers. I freaking love you guys. Thank you. I mean it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.